Okay, so welcome to part three. Um, part two, we went from whatever alphabet to stopping at the the M's. God, I lost track, but but I do know, I do know where we are at though. We got Mega. I haven't washed it yet, but it still looks very good. Glad I got it though. Eventually, I will watch it one day. We got Machete Kills, which is part two. There was supposed to be a part three. We got Machete Part One. We got Monster House. We got Mortal Kombat Legacy Part Two. Mortal Kombat 1. We got Matilda. We got Minions. <laughs> I like Bob. We got Men in Black 2. We got Men in Black 1. We got Mother Crumpus. Which I recommend Mother Crumpus. It has nothing to do with the Crumpus film, but still a good movie. We have New Jack City. We got Now You See Me Too. I really like Now You See Me Too. And I do also recommend Part 1 as well. So we got... Part one right here on Blu-ray of Now You See Me. We got Nightmare and Bad Ham Country. I don't I got this one off YouTube. I don't know if it's still on there. It is based heavily on a true story. I do recommend it, but good luck finding it. Next we got Night of the Living Dead. 1968. We got Night at the Museum. We got Night of the Living Dead again. Physical. Physical. Not bootleg. Then we got Night of the Dead. Right there. And we got one of my two favorite movies right here. And for those, you know, that have followed me in my music career, and for those that have picked up the physical copies, or those that had the physical copies of Psycho 1, 2, and 3, with the music I did, you know, the Psycho films that I talked about, and also with these films I'm about to show, which is Night of the Demons 2 and 1, you know, is what inspired me to do Psycho 1, 2, and then 3. So, if you guys have not seen Night of the Demons 1 and Night of the Demons 2, I recommend it. They have a part 3, but I don't recommend it. I just recommend the first two. Just always one of my favorites. I don't know why. I just, it's just really, really awesome and great. So, for this one, right here, we got a couple of seasons of Oz, which is a prison film, or prison series. Used to come on back in the day on HBO. We got Out to Sea. We got Overboard. Oh god, I'm getting tired sitting over here like this, but damn, I'm doing this for y'all, by the way. Okay, so we got 
Pet Cemetery 1 and 2. I hated the remake, so if you guys want to see the originals, I do recommend those. Now this is where we get what I'm talking about with the Psycho films. So we have Psycho 2 that came out in 83. And then we got Psycho 1 that came out in 1960. And then I actually found Psycho from the 1960 of Part 1. Right there. So. Uh, I will be right back. I gotta run and use the bathroom. Okay, I'm back. So let's continue. We got Paranormal Activity... Four of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and see. I don't like the man. Let me tell you guys something. I got them. They, these were a gift, you know. Mom gave them to me, of course. So I'm gonna be nice. I hate the films because it's so outdrowned. The fifth one felt like a porno flick. The only good one out of all this is part one. Yeah. I don't know, I can care less about those films. I, I, I just care less about them. So we're, we're, we're going to just brush this down aside. Next is one I recommend. It's called Peppermint. Peppermint. I do recommend this film. I recommend it. Next one I recommend is called Proud Mary. I recommend that as well. Next is Public Enemies. And we got Punisher, which I enjoyed. I played the game back in the day when it came out. Okay. Okay. So we got some of my favorite movies right here. And I love to watch these during Thanksgiving. So... What they are, I have my own Pirates movie marathon, which is all the Pirates films. So we got Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tell No Tales on Blu-ray. We got it also on regular DVD. Then we got Pirates of the Caribbean on Strange Tides. We got Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Then we got Dead Man's Chest, which is part two. And then Pirates of the Caribbean one as well. Next we got Pacific Rim Uprising on D on Blu-ray and DVD. And I also have Pacific Rim Part One. When Pacific Rim came out, I'm glad I watched it because I fell in love with it, man. If People, you know, who are my age, you know, in their early 30s or like in their super late 20s, you grew up watching Gundam. You grew up watching Gundam. And this is what this reminded me of. It reminded me of Gundam. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is the closest thing to Gundam we're ever going to get. And I was just so excited. I'm like, man, I want, I want more, I want more. Oh, it, it, it just reminds me of Gundam. And that's the closest thing we're ever going to get to a Gundam movie. Next is one that I recommend. It's Passengers. I recommend this movie. I, I recommend it. I recommend it. Next, we got a couple episodes of Power Rangers in Space. Now we're in the R's. We are in the R's. So we got Rest Stop Dead Ahead. I think this is part two. I need part one. I really need part one. So I recommend Rest Stop one and two for anybody. We got Resident Evil Afterlife. Resident Evil Apocalypse. And then Resident Evil one. Next is Ready Player One, which I actually enjoy. Next we got Robocop, the originals one through three, 
which I really love. I really do enjoy it. And next we got Robocop 1 again. I don't like that shitty remake they did. I don't like it. I don't like it. Next we got Righteous to Kill. I recommend that as well. We got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I enjoyed this one, and this one was a gift from an older woman who used to live right up the block who passed away many years ago. She wasn't quite all there, and she didn't have a lot of family either. I know how that feels like. Next, we got Set Up. That year was a very rough Christmas, so Set Up was one of probably three movies Mom could only afford, and just a really rough time when that that year when that movie came out. Next we got uh, The Sopranos, the complete first season. I used to watch The Sopranos a lot, man, back when you come on HBO. You no, know, HBO used to be for free back in the day. Next we got Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I actually like this. I really did enjoy it. I really did. We got SpongeBob SquarePants the movie. Why not? We got a couple of episodes that's uncut, which is the only version that I recommend. And I actually grew up on Sailor Moon. Yeah. We got the monsters in color. Love the monsters. We got Scooby Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf. You know, one of many things in life that I do enjoy. And that, you know, I don't get, get much enjoyment these days, man, but I do enjoy collecting. One thing I like to do is collecting movies. You know, stuff that I have seen and some, you know, that I'm looking for. Next is Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. I wish they never would have done part two. They retconned the hell out of all the new Scooby-Doo movies, man, trying to tie in all the old films. Whoever took in charge of the new Scooby-Doo projects and stuff just retconned the shit out of every fucking movie. Oh, my God. I will always love the new ones. I will always stick to the... To the no. Did I say new ones? Let me correct myself. I will always love the older ones. That new shit, no, because they fucked up everything, man. They did. They just they just retconned every single Scooby-Doo movie and then trying to fix everything because I guess that's the world of entertainment now where we come out with the same franchise, but then we want to go back and retcon everything else that came after and completely ruined it. And I just can't get down with that. I can't. I won't. I saw that new Scooby-Doo movie that came out, and let me tell you something, that shit was depressing as hell. Oh my god. What, what, so, but we're, go, we're going to move on. I'm going to move on. Next, we got all the Star Wars movies. Yes, I own them all. Boy, I love Star Wars. So we got Star Wars, Rise of Skywalker. We got Star Wars, The Last Jedi. We got Star Wars The Force Awakens. We got Star Wars Return of the Jedi. We got Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. We got Star Wars A New Hope. We got Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. We got Star Wars Attack of the Clones. We got Star Wars The Phantom Menace. put them over there. Okay. Next we got a parody, which is Spaceballs, which I recommend. This, this is actually quite funny. We got Space Troopers. 
Oh, I, I, I love Space Troopers, though. We got Superman Red Sun, which I recommend. Oh, shit. I'm cramped up just sitting here right now. We got Shazam. We got Swamp Thing. We have Suicide Squad Hell to Pay. Oops. No. Go ahead and grab these since those fell. We got Suicide Squad Extended Cut on Blu-ray. We got Suicide Squad on DVD. Superman Returns. Superman Doomsday. Spider-Man Far From Home. Another Spider-Man Far From Home. Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3 with the case. Spider-Man two and Spider-Man one. I actually enjoy, believe it or not, all the Spider-Man films, except for the amazing Spider-Man one and two. I felt like it was too juvenile. Yeah. Yeah. I just did not like those films or those ones. I like the ones that I showed you guys just now. Next, we got Snakes on a Plane. Love this film. One of my favorite lines. I need you to suck the poison out my ass. I got bit in my ass. Next is Volume 4 of Speed Racer, the original cartoon I grew up with. Next is Stand By Me, which is one of my favorites. Scarface. We got Streets of Blood. That was another movie that Mom got me one year that I talked about where we just couldn't really afford much of anything. That's another movie that holds close to me. Next, we got Scary Movies to Tell in the Dark. I love this movie. There's going to be way more that's going to come out for that because it is based off a book series. Next we got Sinister 1. I never saw Sinister 2. We got Signs, which is always good. There was supposed to be a part 2 to Signs, but it just never happened. Next we got Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. I like this movie a lot. Then we got Split. We got Smiley right there. We got a color purple. We got the lovely bones. And that movie's based on a true story. I do recommend the lovely bones. The story behind that, which they should have did a movie about, because it was before that girl got killed and there was a chain length of kidnapping murders that took place in that year. And one of the murders that, you know, before that one, it was about two girls I knew who got kidnapped just like she did, got beaten and raped, and they got hung behind the fence behind the post office. And the fence that they hung them on was a red fence. And that little empty lot over there, that's why it's you know, torn down. You know, that used to be a public area 
where people could go to and play ball and tennis at. But it's no longer for the public. That's why uh, Kang's Daughters now owns that area. So, yeah. That's a bit of the story behind Lovely Bones and the murders that, you know, took place. And the thing is, I knew the the kidnapper and the molester who did that shit. He lived right around the corner. Uh, the Foreigner, which I do recommend. Uh, the Last Samurai, which I haven't watched, but I've been meaning to. Next is The Huntsman of Winter's War, which is I go highlight. Next is the Hitman's Bodyguard, which is a good one. So, next we got the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I actually like that. We got Ten Nights of Terror, which is ten older horror films. I, always, I, I like to get those whenever I can. Next we have the Monster Collection, which is 16 older monster films. Okay. So, we got The Grudge 2. We got The Grudge 1. We got Texas Chainsaw Massacre Remake from 2003. We got... Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning of 2006. We got Texas Chainsaw from 013, which I love that one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, 1985, I believe. This one is the very first one I ever saw, and I love it. I've loved it ever since. I still love it now. Really great. So I recommend this one. It came out in 85 or 86. So I recommend that one. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the first one from the 1970s. Another movie I wish I had was Trick or Treat. I wish I had that one. I don't know anybody that has it or if anybody that's willing to let me get it from them. It'd be nice. If somebody wants to get that for me for my birthday. That'd be great. The Purge, Election Year. I hate all the Purge movies except for this one. The Girl Next Door, which is based on a true story. The Last House on the Left. And The Prodigy. And those fell, whatever. We got The Possession of Hannah Grace. I do recommend that. And The Nun. We got The Conjuring 2, The Conjuring 1, and The Forest, which I recommend this one. You know, when I first saw it, because I know the story behind it, it's based off the suicide woods in Japan and everything. And I was like, you want, want to watch the farm? I'm like, man, man, forget that movie, man. Man, they're going to ruin it, man. I like the I like story, story, stories, man. You know, the videos, man. No, no, you gotta watch. No, fuck that movie, man. But I'm glad I sat and watched The Force. And when I watched it, I fell in love with it. Next is The Autopsy of Jane Doe. I recommend this movie if no one has seen it. I got that on DVD and Blu-ray. So that was that one on DVD. Next, we got The Dayloft Pass Incident 2013 movie they did. I love that story. We got The the Witched, which is on bootleg from 2013. And we got The Haunted 1991 or 1981 on bootleg. I actually recommend The Haunted. And I think it did come out in 91. I recommend that movie. It is based on a true story. So if you guys haven't seen that, I recommend it. Next we have 
the Lost Boys, the original, which I love. That's the only vampire movie I actually enjoy. Next is the Blob remake from back in the 80s, which I recommend. And The Last Exorcist Part 2. Here we have the last ex no the exorcism or the exorcist. We have Twilight Zone the movie. The Blair Witch Project. Next Train to Berlin Berlin. This is an Asian zombie film, and I recommend this movie to anybody that has not seen it. And then we got 10 zombie movies right here. Some are good, some are nah. Uh, that being said, man, this was, was a part three, I think. So, I'm going to stop it here. And I'm going to put all these foot things I filmed on my desktop. And then, I'm going to put the phone on the charger and then tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and finish recording my DVD half of my movie collection so we'll continue with part four and from out then from that we're gonna do continue with my movie collection VHS edit edition as well so we do still have quite a lot to go through this was a video that I've been wanting to do for such a long period of time. And I'm glad I'm able to do it. Uh, these are going to be uploaded every day. So, from the first part to the whenever the last part is, that's going to be that. That being said, man, I'm out. Peace.